We're planning on opening the space uh, at the beginning of July um, when the collection comes in, so that the minute the collection hits the floor, we're open. You know, the whole store thing took me a little bit by surprise. I hadn't really thought about it before it came up. Everything just kind of fell into place, and um, I'm really happy it did, because I think it's a really exciting project. One of the walls is going to be uh, kind of a glass tank that has circulating fog in it, because fog's nice. It's mysterious. It reminds us all of, like, you know, having blurry vision in a disco at 4 in the morning. I just went to this place down the block for sculptors, sculpting materials, and they sell these huge blocks of marble and stone in their basement, and I decided that this space needed some big rocks in it, so I bought some slabs of marble. They're gonna go right there. I decided to come on this side of town because it still seemed a little bit empty and raw, and it seemed um, some friends of mine have opened spaces around here. Atelier is going to be down the block, um, the incredible menswear store. Um, Tom Brown is a few blocks that way, and he's an old friend from LA, and it felt kind of like a nice um, little colony on this side of town. I've been in Paris for five years now. The sculpture in the Paris store actually was it was kind of an accident. At a certain point in a man's life, you reach you reach an age where you want to um, have a painting of yourself commissioned to put on the mantel place of your house. But instead of a painting, I thought, well, we'll do a wax figure. That's more modern, and we'll have him pissing because that's even more modern. So I had this thing commissioned by people in London who do things for Madame Tussaud. And it's such a great, creepy, wonderful thing. Then I thought, well, we'll just put it in the store in Paris. So for this collection, I kind of threw all of my favorite things into the pot. Um, there's cashmere felt, there's shearling, um, leather, of course. And um, I like the denim kind of lightening it all up and making it a little bit more rock, I guess, more 70s rock. Being able to kind of go through all of the racks of an entire collection and, and see what goes together and how there's a consistent thread and, and seeing kind of the story that's being told in a collection, um, seeing it all in one room, it, it's deeply satisfying.